So business objects overview, and I think one of the reasons why I love business objects is as far as um, capabilities go, it's an end-to-end -end reporting and BI application, web-based, so end users can access everything they, they need. And you know, of all the different softwares that I've been exposed to and that we as a company have used, uh, business objects has been the only one that we've found that has pretty much been able to, to take on any challenge and, and overcome any requirement that, that's ever been put in front of us. So it's almost like, you know, a lot of other tools are great for some things, not, not great for others. Business objects across the board, most powerful reporting with crystal reports if you know how to use it properly. Uh, the ad hoc with web intelligence running on top of the semantic layer. We'll talk a little bit more about what a semantic layer is. Business objects, um, you know, is, is, is great there. If you want to put some dashboards in front of some executives, provide them some <clears throat> analysis capabilities and, and data mining functionality, uh, or want to start distributing information via you know, mobile devices and, and iPads and tablets and things like that, um, business objects is perfect. So, so we're going to focus on today in, in, our, in our live demonstration of these different things you see on the screen are uh, dashboards, exploration, some crystal reports, some ad hoc with web intelligence. Um, we're not going to get into too much of the mobile. It's hard for us to, to show the mobile examples over the web, uh, over our, our GoToMeeting and the Microsoft Office integration. Um, there are some plugins there for, called Live Office, and we're not going to show those today, but if you're interested in those, we'd be happy to, um, to do a follow-up session for you.